Copper doesn't float, right? So interesting little experiment for you this week. We're going to see if we can get some copper BBs to actually float somehow. Now, the reason why objects either float or sink has to do with their density. It's a physical property of various substances and indicates just how heavy that substance is per unit of volume. Now, water has a density of about one, and in the case of copper, its density is almost nine times that of water. So obviously when we put copper into a beaker of water, the copper sinks to the bottom. It has a greater density than the water. So most metals won't actually float in water because they have a density greater than one. Now if we were to put these copper BBs into a different liquid, maybe something that has a density of greater uh, than nine, they might float. So we're going to try some mercury. Mercury is a liquid metal at room temperature and has a density of 13.7 grams per cubic centimeter, which means it's 13.7 times more dense than water. If we put the copper BBs in, they should float. Success! Copper will float in liquid mercury. I mean, it works though, right? Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was kind of cool seeing copper actually floating on the surface of some liquid mercury. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down there. Don't forget to subscribe, and aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you